I want to hear your voice. I want to hear your voice. Well, nothing, nothing else matters. Oh, but your choice. Well, I want to live. Well, unhindered my life. Surrendered, I want to hear, yes, I want to hear your voice. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear your voice. Lord, nothing, oh, nothing else matters. I want to hear the voice of the Lord. I hope you want to hear the voice of God. And you know, a lot of people say, Pastor, I've had people ask me, Pastor, uh, you've heard the voice of the Lord. You've had a vision from God, and I'll share that with you in a minute. And uh, they'll say, how does God speak to you? Have you heard him in an audible voice? Or do you hear the voice down inside of you? Or you uh, you have an unction that you feel uh, something's come to your mind, and you feel that's the voice of the Lord. All those things uh, can be God's way of speaking to us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, but somebody asked me that the other day, and I said, yes, I actually heard God's voice almost audibly like I'm talking to you. When he spoke to me on the road to, on the way to Bible college, and that's the reason why our Bible college is so important to me, on the way to Bible college, my second year program, I, I heard God speak and said, pull off the side of the road, take your pen out and, and write the vision down that I'm going to give you. And, you know, it reminded me of Habakkuk chapter 2, uh, where God spoke to Habakkuk and he said, Stand your rampart, stand your place of ministry, or stand your place of service, and let me speak to you. And he said, When I speak, write the vision down, put it on tablets, and find those that would run with it. And, and the scripture said in Habakkuk chapter 2, Even though it may tarry, or even though it may take time to come, it shall come to pass. Because the just shall live by faith. And so I believe in hearing the voice of God. And I believe in, in, in knowing how to tune in to God's voice. And I'll share a couple of things with you in a minute. But I'm Pastor George Walters, Faith Outreach Center, 7607 Sheldon Road here in Tampa, Florida. We're excited about Jesus. We're excited about uh, what God is doing uh, even in our land today. Great things are happening. And I hope you know the Lord and I hope you trust him with all your heart. And I hope you have a desire to hear his voice. Uh, let me share this with you for a minute in Psalms 95. Psalms 95 uh, in verse 8 says, Today, if you will hear his voice. Today, uh, not tomorrow, not a year from now, and not when I get a little older, not whenever I think uh, uh, I'm too old to do anything else. Maybe I'll hear God's voice and he can speak to me. Today, God said, if you'll hear his voice. And do not harden your hearts. There's so many people today that their hearts have hardened. They've been wounded. They've been hurt. They've been offended, even in the churches, even by pastors. Uh, they've been hurt and wounded. They've backed off from God and said, well, if that's what Christianity is, I don't want any part of it. And they've got cool. And uh, somebody needs to get them healed. And someone needs to love on them and say, listen, because there's a few people out there that hurt us, I want you to know Jesus is on the throne. He loves you, and he wants the best in your life. Uh, so it says today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. And uh, as in the days of the rebellion, uh, and and we re need to remember and know that, uh, that we can't be in rebellion to the things of God. And let the anointing of the Lord flow. If someone's coming, tell them to feel free to come in. It's okay. 
And I just want you to know that uh, Jesus loves you. And we're moving in the anointing and the presence of God. And today, if you'll hear his voice, he, uh, and don't harden your hearts. And and don't be like in the days of the, in the rebellion. But, but in the days of trials, uh, when Israel was tried and tested, they had to hear the voice of God, that God was going to see them through. I'm reminded of, the, of back in the days in the scripture when, I, uh, when Elijah, uh, Elijah was a mighty man of God. Y'all come on in, have a seat. And Elijah was a man that moved in the anointing. Uh, he was a man that killed uh, the prophets of God and, and he was able to uh, do great and mighty things. At the end of Elijah, when he told Ahab, he said a storm's coming because he caused no rain to come for three and a half years. And he said, no storm's coming. You better get into town. And Ahab got in his chariot. And and Elijah reached down and grabbed his robe and pulled it between his legs. And he outran the chariots. But then when he got in town, uh, Ahab, excuse me, Ahab's wife, the one to kill him, said, I'll kill you before the morning comes. And he ran out, ran away. He, got, he went into a cave. And when he went into his cave, he had to hear the voice of God and said the storm came. He didn't hear God's voice. The thunder came and he didn't hear God's voice. But then a still small voice came and he heard a fresh word from God and he got refreshed and he got renewed and he got out there and he did the work of the Lord. And that's what we need to have sometimes. We need to have a fresh word. We need to hear from God. When I heard that word from the Lord, when he spoke to me on the way to Bible college, it changed my life. And that's the reason why college is so important to me. That's the reason why I believe we need to study to make ourselves approved. Uh, I heard God's voice on my second year of Bible college and wanting direction, wanting to hear God. And he gave me the vision for this ministry. And we're seeing it fulfilled even today. A Bible college, the academy, uh, reaching around the world with the word of God. And I want you to know we've got a local church that changes lives. And I just want you to know I had to hear God's voice. And I'm still living on the voice that I heard from God and on the, on the revelation that I got. We need to hear God's voice. I'm going to ask you to be tuned in to the voice of God. I just sang that song, uh, I Need to Hear His Voice. We need to hear the voice of God. We need Him to speak into us. We need Him to minister into our inner man. We need to have a revelation from God. When I read the Word, I say, Lord, give me a revelation. Speak through me, through your Word, and let your voice come alive. And when you listen and you hear the voice of God, it'll change your life forever. And sometimes people say, Pastor, does God speak to you in an audible voice? Not always. Sometimes it's the inner man through the Holy Spirit will speak to me in my spirit. And I'll have an unction within me that says, God's speaking. And he'll give me direction. As I, as I act upon that word, what it does, it starts, it brings, it brings a confirmation that God is speaking into me because the revelation starts to flow in my life. Well, listen, we love you and we appreciate it. I hope that you uh, have an ear to hear God's voice. Tune in. And I'll tell you another way God speaks to you is through his word. Let the word of God come alive within you. And people say, well, Pastor, I read the word sometimes and I don't get anything out of it. Or I don't have any meaning. Before you start to read the word, you say, Lord, I'm reading your word now. Would you... Would you through the Spirit of God, give me revelation on what your Word is saying, and you'll find out. He'll speak to you through His Word. Let me pray with you. Father, I pray right now for those that are listening uh, th this morning, and I ask God that you touch them in a mighty way. Let your Word come alive. Speak into the heart. Let them have a revelation from you. Maybe there's somebody listening right now that says, yes, I need to get plugged into a Bible program somewhere. Let the, uh, let the Word of God be saturated in my heart. And Lord, I need a fresh word. You'll speak to me as I commit myself to that. Maybe you need to uh, get enrolled in something that will change your life. And Lord, bless those that are listening. Touch them and let them have a great day today in Jesus' name. And I give you praise. Amen. God bless you. I'll talk to you next week.